Well, hello, Fabs. Welcome back to my channel. So this week, I'm going to be putting the drape that I drank last week into the fabrication. Now, the fabrication that I'm going to be using this week is this beauty right here. You guys remember this from the previous tutorial that I did with the bubble hem gown. Um, but this time I wanted to incorporate the feathers like I said last time and I found this beautiful stripe printed dyed ostrich feather and I'm going to use it on this. Since the fabric's already busy I don't want to um, put too much of this to overdo it. So I'm going to put it along the neckline right here and I want it to kind of pop off the body like this and then I might add some jewels to kind of cover this along the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart. I did see a little changes I'm gonna make. Like right here, I'm probably gonna narrow this a little bit more around the armhole and around the neckline because I want it to be super, super sexy, but cute. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything out on the fabric. So here's the bodice. I'm gonna go ahead and make some quick changes on um, this part of the armhole because I want it to be a little bit more wider and go deeper, a little bit more deeper on the neckline, and then that's about it. So let me go ahead and make those changes. Alright, so I basically put everything together. This is the outer shell connected with the full circle um, skirt. Here at the bust cup, I left it um, uh, 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So that way, when I put the lining to connect everything, um, I'm going to connect the neckline with the lining here, stopping right here. And then I'm going to continue to connect the cups together into the seam. And then it'll be open on the side so I can insert the zipper. So let's go ahead and see this on the dress form. All right, so far so good. I'm loving the way this looks. And now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the whole process the same way with just the lining this time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect everything together at the neckline and hem. All right guys, so I finally completed the lining, which is just the half circle skirt. Okay, so now I'm now going to connect it to the gown. So as you can see, the gown has the full circle skirt, hemline finish. And I'm going to go ahead and connect the neckline of the lining and bodice together. So all I'm going to do is just stitch the neckline closed and then I'll do the armhole afterwards um, I'm going to also maybe I should put in the zipper first I'm going to put in my zipper first and then connect the lining
So I'm thinking about putting the feathers like this because I want it to pop off the body instead of it laying like this. It looks kind of bland. And I'm going to just cut it down, not too far down. And then I'm going to apply this jewel right here. Because it kind of reminds me of the original one that I put. So let me just cut that so I can see. So I decided to put the feathers right over the shoulder, not too much, um, because it will take too much away from the gown, because the gown already is busy with this print and the silhouette and, you know, plain simplicity is the best for me, but I wanted to add, incorporate this feather just to give it a little bit of oomph to it, and I think it's good enough, and I love it. So let's get her on a display so we can see her in action, okay? All right, let's go. So, um, somebody in my comment section last, um, in the last video said, you know, how are things after, you know, um, after leaving my home, um, when I, uh, when my house foreclosed, um, a couple of years ago. And I have to say that right now we are in a stable situation. It's not the hundred percent ideal, um, place, but it's a place where I can lay my head at night and, um, and be grateful for it. Me and my mom is doing good. I just wanted to explain to you guys and share a little bit of details of what's going on, what has happened during the time, because for me, I'm very private when it comes to my business. And um, since I'm on a journey to my dream, I also felt like I wanted to share the ups and downs as to how things go when you run a business or trying to achieve an accomplishment and sometimes along the path you know it, it gets rocky so um me losing my home i felt like i was a failure because i did the best that i could um to try to keep it and and everything that i did i didn't feel like i was succeeding in it and to be honest right now i feel still for the same way so, um, but along that, alongside with that, I also see like progression and positivity that comes out of it. And I kid you not, when I was about to move out of my house, um, this opportunity came with a brother who wanted to partner with me. And I was just like kind of confused as to like, you know, I'm going through this crisis right now. And I don't know where I'm going to go, where am I going to sleep. I don't even have eno enough money in my pocket. Um, we were basically using credit cards just to start off. So my mother put up some money for, you know, um, a place for us to go and sleep so we can figure things out and then we'll, you know, you know, pray about it and whatever. 
And when this opportunity came at that same time of me leaving, I felt like maybe this is me, this is a way of God saying, keep going, you know, I got you. This partnership came and then that's when I decided to share with you guys what was going on because I kind of wanted to like hide because I felt so embarrassed. But I said, you know what, I'm going to put it out there and show people that this is what happens during, you know, the struggle years of making it and being successful because we always see the end result and never see the process. Because to be honest, when I shared that video, it was a test. It was a test to see what people would say when you actually living the life of building your dream, because there was a lot of positivity. And then there was negativity of people judging me and telling me, oh, you shouldn't have done this. Well, that's what you get. And and that, no matter how much positivity that you get, I can't tell you how as much of negativity can affect a person. That's why drama, um, problems, uh, issues always sell well because people want to see and compare their lives to someone else's life. At this at the same time and then on the flip side you have things where people are going through the same thing and they would like to see the silver lining in their own situation so I when I put it out there I didn't expect the feedback to become what it did um, and to, to as God is my witness I feel like it was a blessing like God has blessed me with the right people to give um, out of their hearts to help me um, I was not expecting that at all. I didn't even ask for anything at all. I just asked you guys to pray for me at the time. And um, and the amount of uh, generosity that came out of that, I was just so grateful, so thankful. My mother was, we were both crying because we didn't know what to do, where to go, and, and how we were going to make it. So... I want to thank you guys for those who reached out, um, prayed for me, you know, gave uh, donations and stuff. Um, I, I'm highly grateful for that moment of my life. I will never forget it. With that said, I also want to thank Brother for also um, be, being part of this journey as well because they have supported me throughout the whole process, even through the time of COVID. And that time, I have to say, was a, I mean, I was shocked. And a lot of the hotels was closing. And you know, guys, I was living out of a hotel. And um, I was paying every single day at a hotel during COVID. And I didn't know how I was going to make any meet. Um, I had friends who supported me. Um, during the tough times of trying to figure out how I'm going to get this to pay for this this night You know, I make it through one day. Okay, so now since I made it through one day, that's good So I gotta figure out today how to get the next day because You know, everybody had to be on lockdown and there was no place to do no place to go And then people not renting apartments people not running outside people was afraid So that whole thing was shut down and then um, the hotels they were closing because people were not coming and luckily for the hotel that we ended up staying in for a whole year. I mean, they were the only ones that was stayed open. And I don't know if because, you know, um, we were continuing paying every single day. But um, I was able to talk to the, uh, the general manager to see what we can do. And the whole process, the whole experience was like... Oh my god, I don't even know what word I could use to describe it. It was like half and half, good and bad. So I shared that whole process um, with a brother. Uh, they did a story uh, about my journey and how I was able to maintain myself while I was in my own, you know, crisis of its own. And um, I shared that on their website as well. So I'm gonna link the, I'm gonna leave the link for you to go and check out the blog post. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this unboxing, and we're gonna see what this machine is because they were nice to send me an upgrade. So let's see what this is. I got my scissors. I'm kind of excited. Compartments. We got compartments. Oh, look at this. Oh. Okay, let me put this down. I can pull this out like that. Ooh. 
So I share all of that to say that no matter what you're going through, there's always an opportunity or something positive that will come out of the situation. You just gotta pray about it. Because God will take care of you if you believe in Him. So there she is, sitting beautifully on top of the desk, okay, in her space right here, and below the artwork and all the flowers, you know, sitting pretty, that's what I'm talking about. I love pretty things, I can't help it. All right, so I saw this box and I'm like, what is this box about? So let me see has a lock on it and an unlock. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at the foot pressers. The different foot pressers. What is this? Oh, I'm gonna have to research. And look through the manual book, the textbook of manuals. This is interesting. Wow, this is so pretty. What's on in here? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the bags. Oh, this is a little embroidery. Scissor. Okay. The tools, the needles. Wow. Okay, that's nice. Ooh, look at all the bag of bobbins. You can never get enough of bobbins. I know, I can't. Should put this in here too. This is so cute. Isn't that the cutest thing? It's so nice to see something that's well thought out and all the little details that come with the machine. Brother definitely knows how to do it. It's nice, I like it. So, I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing, you know. Next week, I think I'm gonna do another draping tutorial, and I'm going to be looking for a fabric that I saw over the summer. It's an Ankara print, and I thought it was fun, and I wanted to just get into something fun. So let me see if I can turn this down so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can find this fabric because it's gorgeous. I wanna do like some rhinestones, something rhinestone-ish with this. I might jewel the whole thing, like be dazzled the whole thing because I'm just in that mood. So tune in to next week and see what we're gonna find. If I can find this fabric, I hope I can find it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>